I think this may be the first time that I have ever talked to you guys inside of my car. I am just now realizing that. So I have about four hours to burn today in the little town of Woodville, Texas. My youngest daughter is doing an equestrian riding and jumping camp this week. So I have to keep myself busy for a few hours every morning. And today I'm going to go walk into an antique store here in Woodville called Loretta's 2 Antiques and More. I've been here once before, I think, and I ended up finding some really great deals on some cute stuff. So I'm hoping that today a little bit of that luck will continue and I'll find a few treasures at some really great prices that I just can't live without. So let's go see what they have. There are two types of creators on YouTube. Those who can beautifully narrate Shop With Me content and those who cannot. Unfortunately for you, dear viewer, I fall into the latter category. Every time that I have ever sat down to try to wax poetic about each shopping clip, what I'm seeing, what I'm looking at, it always turns into a bumbling, nonsensical disaster. A disaster that I would really rather not expose you to today. Instead, the remainder of this shopping footage will be set to the beautiful relaxing music that you've come to expect here. Should you choose to keep watching, of course. Which of course I really hope you do. However, if you are someone who doesn't particularly enjoy watching shopping content, which I completely understand, you are more than welcome to zoom right past this and go straight to the haul and decorating portion of today's video. I promise you won't hurt my feelings in the least. With all that being said, and if I haven't yet scared you away, I hope that you enjoy the remainder of this video.
It never ceases to amaze me the unique Avon bottles that I find while out at antique stores. I was stunned when I turned these quote unquote binoculars over to find the tag on the bottom. Last year, I found a bust of Ben Franklin that I believe has cologne or aftershave in it. And then I realized that they made an entire collection of these bottles with the busts of our founding fathers and other former presidents. So now that I've got one, I'm constantly on the lookout for more because, well, I have to start a collection. I just have to. It's getting hot out there you guys the humidity has officially taken all the curl out of my hair not sure why I bother this time of year honestly so guys I got four things all of them under ten dollars I'll probably do a haul either today when we get home or maybe tomorrow but I got some cute cute stuff this store usually never disappoints so like I said, everything was under $10 and that was because all of the boots that I purchased from all had 25% off sales going on. So that put the only item that was gonna be over 10, under 10. So I was very excited about that. I think my total was $32 with tax. So I can't wait to show you guys what I got. If you are ever in Woodville, Texas, you definitely need to stop by Loretta's 2 Antiques. It really doesn't disappoint. I've been there once before now, and every time I go, I end up finding amazing deals on stuff. So it's like your traditional antique mall where it has, you know, lots of different vendors selling everything from antiques to vintage items, collectibles, there was one booth that had, you know, every Coca-Cola thing you could possibly imagine. So, I mean, the things that they have in that store really run the gambit and it's all priced incredibly well for the most part. So let me show you guys what I picked up yesterday. First off was this sweet little pocket change dish. 
I had actually had my eye on this the last time that I went there and I ended up passing it up. So it was initially marked at 12 when I went the last time. This time it was marked at 10 and then it was 25% off. So I think I spent $8 on it. They also had a similar one that was a little bit smaller than this one and I think it actually said small change. But this was the initial one that I had really wanted and this one was a little weightier. Um, they're both brass but this one just has more weight to it and I just I liked it a little bit more. So I'm thinking it's either going to go in the entryway or in our bedroom. My husband does kind of collect change in here sometimes and I thought this might be a really sweet way for him to just, you know, stop off and put his change in there, you know, as he's heading off to the shower or whatever he's doing. So I think I might do that with this. And then I picked up this sweet little pewter cup. So I haven't necessarily been really drawn to pewter over the last several years, but that seems to be changing because this is now the second piece of pewter that I've picked up in probably about six months. So I loved the shape of the handle on this one. I just thought it was really, really pretty. The other one that I have almost is like a beer stein almost, like it's a little bit more, um, I don't know, straight forward. It doesn't have as much it doesn't have the curvature. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It just doesn't have the detail that this one has on the handle. So I thought this was really pretty. I think this may go on my husband's nightstand. I have some ideas to style up this and my next find. The next find that I have is also going to go on my husband's nightstand. And it is this sweet little lab. Look at that. So I have been looking for dog figurines, statues, what have you. And most of the time I end up finding dog breeds that would not necessarily be something he would be interested in. And when I saw this one, I knew this would be perfect. If I ever find a Pomeranian, that will be the ultimate. <laughs> but for now, I think this one is gonna be really, really sweet. I've got an idea of how I can style it up with this and some books that I've already got and I think that'll be really lovely. I want to try to keep his side, his nightstand, a little bit more masculine, you know, not quite so feminine and frilly and girly. So I think he's going to end up really liking this. And honey, if you're watching, isn't it cute? You're going to have to name him. <laughs> and last but not least, I found this. Isn't this gorgeous? It's an oil painting, completely framed and matted. I thought it was, well, not matted. It's got the, the velvety lining with the frame. So this was originally $12. That's it, $12. And that would have been great. But this was also in a booth where things were marked down. So I ended up getting this for $9. I was so excited. I mean, there was no way I was passing that up. It's gorgeous. I think it is also gonna go here in our bedroom. I've got on the side where the television is, I've got one small picture hanging. And I think I wanna kind of change that up above the chair. Well, you'll see here in a minute. But I think I'm gonna display it in our bedroom. I think that will be really, really lovely. I just, I loved the colors in it. It's just so stunning. I can't believe I got it for $9. Oh, and I just realized, I didn't tell you how much I paid for our little dog friend here. He was $8 and this cup ended up being $6. So sorry, I forgot to tell you that here a few minutes ago, but I didn't want to let this part of the video go without making sure you guys knew the prices on everything. So yeah, everything was under $10. I spent $32 total in some change, including tax. So I feel like that was a pretty good day at the antique shop when you can get out of there with all items under $10. That is for sure a win in my book.